In this video, we'll take a look at the best way to share your texture palettes, and even how you can start selling these textures online. So the best way to share your texture palette is by reducing your project to the composition that holds the texture palette. And then after that, you want to collect all those files into a folder. Now this way, all the texture files are included with the project in a separate footage folder. Now the next step is saving this project as an older version of After Effects, so that it can be opened in no matter what version of After Effects you use. You can do this by going to Save As, and then click on Save as an older version, in this case 13. And then you'll need to repeat this step about three more times in older versions of After Effects until you get to version 11, known as CS6. Then after that, you can zip this project file and the footage folder together to easily share it. Now, if you want to sell textures online, I'll walk you through how to start your own Gumroad channel. It's really simple. And I'll also show you how you can submit your Gumroad product to my resources platform on georegulus.com so that people can easily find it. Feel free to skip around this video using the chapters if you feel like you know how to do a specific part already. And comment below if you have any questions on this topic. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I make a nice layout of this texture palette so that when people import it, it's not a complete mess. So I'm going to go into my texture palette and here you can see that I've grouped certain textures together and also assigned specific colors to them. So that over here you can see those colors reflect in the swatch buttons. Now I even went as far to type out the layer name underneath each texture so that if I'm looking for the field brush circle, I can just hover over these buttons and then I know that this is the field brush circle. Now these text layers obviously don't show up in this texture palette and that's because I made those layers guide layers. I also turned on the lock and the shy layer so that when I click on this icon, they'll disappear. So this is a nice way to present your texture so that if someone else opens this up, they can make sense out of it. Now also make sure that you're using a font that most people have, like Helvetica, because otherwise you're also dealing with missing fonts and stuff like that. Okay, now before I reduce this project to this composition, I want to save this current project. And then I also want to save an extra version to my desktop. And this will prevent me from accidentally saving over the project that I was working in. All right, so once you're happy with how your texture palette looks, now we can reduce this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this Ray Dynamic Texture Palette and then go to File, Dependencies, Reduce Project. And what that will do is it will get rid of everything else except this composition and all the textures that are inside of it. And then I'm going to take these two folders, make sure that they're in the root of the After Effects project, and then delete these two folders that I don't need. Right, so now I have the texture palette and all the textures that are included. Another thing that I've done is I've created proxy files for some of these heavier textures. So this file is, for example, a TIFF file, which can be very large. So I've also created a quick JPEG uh, proxy. Now, once the project is reduced, we go back up to File, Dependencies, Collect Files. And then we hit Save. This is why it's good that we saved an extra copy on the desktop. So Save. And then I'm going to select all and then collect. And then I want to go to my texture library folder and I'm just going to save that in here. So now After Effects is going to collect all the textures that are involved in this project and save them into one folder. Right, once that's done, you can see that I have now an After Effects project plus a footage folder that has all the textures. And it also has all the proxy files. Now this comes with a text file as well that you don't need, so you can just go ahead and delete it. And now we have our texture palette isolated into a After Effects project. Now there's one problem because people with an older version of After Effects can't import this project because I'm working in version 14 over here. So what I need to do is I need to save this project as an older version. So when I go back into version 14 and then go to File, Save As, here you can see I can save a copy as version 13, but I can't save a version directly to 11. So what I have to do is I have to open up that version 13 that I just saved in After Effects 13 and then save a copy as version 12 and then open that in version 12 and save a copy as version 11. And then that copy I can open up in CS6 
and I can get rid of these projects. And this will then become my main After Effects project that I can open up in all these different versions. Now you can see that in version CS6, we can open up that project file. And that works. And if you go all the way back to version 14, you can also see that we can just open up that project in there without any problems. Now you can find previous versions of After Effects if you go to Creative Cloud and then Apps. And then if you scroll down under Find Additional Apps, you can find, it's a little hidden here, few previous versions. And once you click on that, you could scroll down to After Effects and click on Install. And here you can find version 13 and 12. You just need one version of each, so. Okay, so now that this project is saved in version 11, we can right click and compress it into a zip file. Now this will reduce the file size of all these textures combined, and it will also make it easier to share on a platform like Dropbox, Google Drive, and WeTransfer. Now you can also sell this file online on a platform like Gumroad, because think for a second, how much effort did you put into creating this texture palette? And how much work would it be for someone else to do the same? There are a lot of people out there that would be happy to pay for textures that are already made, especially if your textures are really good quality. Now right now it's really hard to find textures online, especially textures that are ready for animation. And with Ray Dynamic Texture, you can go so much further than just providing the texture files, because you can also include expressions, shapes, and effects with those textures. Okay, so right now I'll show you how you can set up your own Gumroad account. And just a disclaimer, I'm not getting paid by Gumroad to promote them at all, I just think they have a really solid platform for selling digital files online. But do your own research because there's a lot of other platforms like this online and you should choose whatever works best for you. So just click on the invite link that you can find in the description and then you'll land on this page. And here you can fill out your email address and set a password and tell Gumroad you're not a robot. And then you can click on create account. All right, and once you've created an account, you can go to products and then click on add a product. And then you say it's a digital product. And here you can set a name. So I'm gonna say Ariel Costa. I'm gonna create his account so you can follow along. All right, here I can set a price. If I click on this, you can change the currency. And then here you can upload a file. And then I'm gonna select that zip file that we just created, click on choose. And now it's going to upload this zip file to Gumroad. And you have about 16 gigabytes of space, so your textures can be quite large, right? And once the upload is done, you can go to next to customize. And here you can set the price again. Uh, you could leave it at zero and also fill in a suggested price if you want, but this will be name your own price. So your customer can decide how much they'll pay for this product. Now, my experience for putting up products with name your own price versus paid products is that you'll make roughly about the same amount of money. I would say maybe a little more if you charge something for it, but that all depends on the situation and how well you're already established. The advantage of putting it up as name your own price is that a lot more people will have access to it and you still get paid because there's some really generous people out there and our community is really generous. So it's up to you. Do you want your audience to be able to have this file and still make a little bit of money on the side? Or do you wanna sell these textures because they're really top notch, high quality? So think about that. And you can also have both. You can just have a couple of textures up for name your own price. And you can also charge for a couple of other textures that may be a little bit higher quality. All right, I'm gonna leave this at zero because I want as much people to be able to download this texture pack. And that's also what Ariel Costa has agreed on. Here you can fill out a description of who created this texture palette and how to install it perhaps. And then over here, you could even add more files. So if you have different texture sets and you wanna sell them separately, you could even make different groups. And once the upload is done, you'll see this new option, uh, create a new version of this product. So in here you can type in a version name and then you can say here which files should be included in that version. And that will show up like this. So you'll get this little box here where you can choose a different version and you could even assign different prices to that. A benefit from making groups is, is that people that just want to download the low resolution quality files don't have to be bothered by downloading the 8K textures, which might be really big in file size and will take forever to download. So make sure you provide options. Now I just have one zip file, so I'm just gonna delete this. Uh, all right, up here you can upload a cover. 
This could be an image or even a movie. If you upload an image once, you can keep clicking on this button to upload more images. And I think you can upload around 10 or 12. But if you have more textures than that, I actually created a video that showcases all these textures. And this just plays two seconds of each texture that's included. And I also saved out an After Effects template of this so you can make a video for your own textures. Right, so once I fill out all my information, I can go to Save Changes and then go to Options. And here I can set a custom URL for my product. And down here in Variants, I can charge different prices for the groups that I created. In Offers, I can create discount codes and license keys I can generate, but I usually never do that. So, All right, so once you've set your custom name, you can save changes and then you can say publish. Uh, and then you'll be brought to the share tab where you can get a link to your product. And this link you can share with your friends or put it on social media. Now, if you have a good texture palette and you want more exposure, I can offer you the help by putting that texture palette up on my resources page. And then this will become a library that people can go to and find all kinds of textures. So if you want to submit your own texture palette, all you have to do is go to georegulus.com, go to resources, and then submit your own texture. And then that will bring you to a Typeform page where you get a whole bunch of instructions on how to do it. And it's pretty much whatever we talked about in this tutorial. And here you can also find a download link to that showcase video. Now, once you've completed all these steps and you've successfully uploaded it to Gumroad, you can put that Gumroad link right here. And then you have to fill in a bunch of other information about the product. And then I'll put it up on the website here so that it will have more exposure and people can download your product. Just like I did with these textures. So it will show up like this. So all the profit that comes through this website is completely for you. I'm just providing a platform where people can find these textures easily for the plugin that I made. All right, that's it. I hope you'll be willing to share your textures with the community and even make a little bit of profit. From my experience, it has given me way more than just a financial return. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the upcoming videos. Take care.